every day when I woke up, I would work toward that goal. Everything that was in there is absolutely true, makes sense, and applies to everybody's life. It, it, it really does. Any of these successful people that you meet, that's who they are and that's exactly what they do. It's a fact. You know, I didn't grow up with money. We, 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 we weren't rich by any means, but uh, I, I knew I wasn't going to college. I knew that wasn't a reality and I didn't really want to go to college. One of the things that I was very lucky in my life with is I knew exactly what I wanted to do. From the time I was a young age, I knew I wanted to be in the fight business and people thought I was crazy. I was literally standing in the lobby one day and I'm like, what the hell am I doing here? <laughs> what am I doing here? This isn't me, this isn't what I want. And I walked out the front door and one of my good friends, he's still one of my good friends today, who was the doorman, says, uh, what are you doing? I said, I'm, I'm quitting. And he's like, he's like, what? What are you gonna do? I said, I wanna be in the fight business. He said, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I always knew what I wanted to do. And it's one of the things, when you have a business, First of all, when, when you have a business idea, um, there's always gonna be detractors and people that think, you know, it won't work. You're always gonna have those people around you and in your life, even when you're successful, believe me. It gets worse when you're successful. Then you have to get to a point where you, you don't doubt yourself. You, you're so into this thing and you know that it's gonna work. Timing is everything in life. Timing is everything. And when we got into this business, Boxing was starting to decline and, and, and uh, you know, a lot of the big championships and the guys who held titles were in Europe, not in the United States yeah. anymore. Um, you know, boxing had gotten so greedy over, over the last 30 years um, that the business actually started to shrink. Fighting, fighting happens everywhere. Fighting works everywhere. I don't care what color you are, what country you come from, or what language you speak. Fighting is in our DNA. We get it and we like it. We're human beings. If you think about the most famous athletes to ever walk the face of this earth, Ali, does anybody in this room not know Mike Tyson? Who in this room doesn't know Bruce Lee? Bruce Lee died in the early 70s and people still know who he is. Kids still know who Bruce Lee is because we are fascinated by who the toughest guy in the world is. That we are attracted to that since the beginning of time. And it will be like that to the end of time. And that is what I believed as weird as that is, and that was our philosophy in building this business. When you think about, when you talk about manifesting your own destiny, yeah. that is Ronda Rousey, that is Conor McGregor, yes. that is any of these successful people that you meet, that's who they are and that's exactly what they do. It's a fact. She, she sat there and laid out and told me exactly how her career was going to go. Conor McGregor laid out and told me exactly how his career was going to go. These type of people, it's, 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 it's real. It's absolutely real and, and I've seen it many, many times in my life. I don't know, but those are my favorites. I love when people doubt us. I love when people yeah. say no. You know, even, even when we just sold the company, we sold the company, it's been two years now, right? We sold the company and uh, then everybody, all it's always surrounded by, anything you do positive in your life and anything that's huge, it will immediately be surrounded by negativity, yeah. right? Immediately. Get ready for it, because no matter how successful you become, one thing never goes away. Negativity, haters, whatever you want to call them. And you have to read it every day. But I separate myself from it. I do not read any of that stuff, because one of the things that I have learned over, over my many years of doing this, their opinion doesn't matter. It's negative bullshit, and it means nothing to you. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't affect, unless you're the type, sick, twisted type of person like me that likes to let it fuel you you let it it's like your you know it's like your fuel and 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 other than that it's useless it means nothing do your thing stay on your course stay focused and 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 keep your eye on the prize and 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 everything comes together there's always this thing about you know fuck you money everybody knows that term I'm gonna tell the boss to kiss my ass if I ever get that lottery or I hit this or hit that. You're in the wrong job. If you're looking for fuck you money, you're in the wrong place already. You already know you're not in the right place because there's no such thing. I just made more money than I ever dreamed I would make. I don't wanna leave. What am I gonna do? Where am I gonna go? Listen, I've been on trips and stuff. I can't stand three-day weekends. I hate three-day weekends, man. I'm like, man, I'm, I want Monday to come again. That's how much I love what I do.
that should be, if that's not your mentality every weekend when you're at, at home, like you're dreading Monday, man, stop. Stop and get another job because you're in the wrong place. That, that, that's not healthy for you. So now the, we, we, we just did a deal with ESPN for $1.5 billion five for year five deal. years. Yeah. Now the company's worth $7 billion. And, and everybody's telling me, oh my God, you made, you know, 360 million, you made this, you made that. I already had money. I had money. I, I had bought a lot of stuff that I had always wanted. You know, how many people grew up broke? Okay? When, when you grow up broke and you make money, you buy the dumbest shit ever. And at the end of the day, it's really about that you love what you're doing and it's about the journey. The people you're doing with it, that you're having fun, you're getting up every day and, and you're all working toward the same goal, whatever it might be. It's a very fulfilling feeling. It really is a very fulfilling feeling because I've been where most people have been. I, I, I've been in the, in, in the shitty job that you're just trying to pay your bills and you're trying to make ends meet and, and, and you're miserable. You're doing it because you have to do it because you have to pay your bills because you need money. Once you break out of that and you find what it is you truly love to do, it's really not work. It's, it's actually fun and you enjoy every day of your life. Yeah, because I, I think that you know, I, I talk about us as human beings, how we're made up um, and we love fighting, but every one of us is a fighter. Every day you get out of bed, you, when you get out of bed every morning, right, you get up out of bed, life is standing right there to kick you in the face. Because every day when you get up, bad shit's coming at you, right? Forget about work, your personal life, everything. Car don't start, the this, the that. Life is ready to get you, you know? And you gotta get up and you gotta fight through that bullshit every day you have to you know if you don't you can't you can't roll over you can't roll over man you just get you got to fight through all the shit that life throws at you then, then you get to a point where life's throwing a bunch of shit at you now work's throwing a bunch of shit at you you know you, your, your business that you have to fight for every day and you have to get up and you have to have that to get up and fight every day man and, and once you get into it and you start and you start fighting, it, it becomes addictive. You actually like it. I, I, I love it. I, I love I love competition. I love uh, I, I love things that I love adversity. I love when adversity comes at us. I love solving problems. I, I love you know, in, yes. in, in personal and professional life, I, I really do like. You know, once something becomes so successful, you just can't deny anymore. Yeah. It just gets to a point. Yeah. And if you look at you know. The, the thing that we played when you guys were coming out, we got the millennials, you know, we got, this thing is global, it works everywhere. You become super famous overnight, and you acquire millions and millions of dollars. You get a little crazy, you know, it happens. People go a little crazy here and there. It really is. One of the, one of the hard parts, and, and you see it all the time, it, you know, try to keep the wheels coming off the bus when, when, when everything's going so good. Ego. Ego gets involved. Um, you get to the point where you're like, I, I, I got so much money now. And, yeah. and, and, and some guys make the big mistake and think that they uh, have more money than they really do, right? I mean, how many people in this room have ever thought, if I had a million dollars? Exactly, but people in people's minds, they think that a million dollars is a lot of money, yeah. right? If I had a million bucks, I'd be set. No, you wouldn't. The government's gonna take a big chunk of that, right? Then you're probably gonna pay off your house. Family's gonna hit you up for money immediately. And people make that mistake that they think they're set when they're really not. Yeah. You have to you have to have some money for a while before you calm down, sort of sort of figure things out. And what it what it what it really takes is you have to be a leader. Yeah. You have to be a leader and you have to get people to believe as you believe and to want the, the dream as bad as you want the dream. And you have to, you know, <clears throat> it's great to have a bunch of people in your place working, but you want, you want enthusiastic people Passion. that love what they're doing yeah. as much as, you know, those are the type of people you want. And that's, that's I, you know, that's the type of shop we've run since the day we opened. It, 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 it's, it's, you have to be able to talk to people. You have to be able to motivate people. You have to uh, be able to get people to believe as you believe in what they're doing. To love it as much as you do, yeah. uh, you know. And in, in, in my experience, that that's that's what it takes. That's it's awesome. worked for me. It's crazy. I, I think that I, from what I've learned, and as I look back on my life, everything in life is about timing.
yes. really is about timing, the right time, the right place, the right everything. And, and I also believe that you create your own timing yes. in life too. What's the worst thing that can happen if you try? If, if the day that I walked out of that hotel, right, and I went to do this, it doesn't work out. I can go back and be a bellman again yeah. whenever I want to. You can always go back and do that. The worst part is not trying. Yeah. You have to try. Nobody's ever going to do anything without trying. It's never the right time. It's never the right time. It's like, I can't now. I, 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 I got this truck I just bought. I got payments on this friggin' thing. You know, I, I got this. If you do that to yourself, you'll never do anything. Forget the truck. Forget this. Forget that. Go for it. Just go for it. Believe me, I'm living proof that it can happen. And you know, we have to stay woke. Like everybody needs to be woke. Number four, targeted for us, 250, 20 miles, 5,000 low. South of Fairfall, just over the ridge. Engage. Hello, sniper four, confirm 30%. Very good. Sniper one, double target, sniper four, Barrage, good, 6, 5, 20, below. Sniper one, 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 sniper one